had uh, congestive heart failure in 2004. They did a quadruple bypass. A year later, they did a uh, pacemaker and it worked well for a good while. And in the last two or three years, I've been getting really weak. Well, I had got to where I just didn't do much of anything, just lay around, napped all day, didn't have any energy at all. I'm a, I'm a deer hunter. I didn't deer hunt uh, for two summers. Just didn't feel like it. Didn't ride the bike. I have two, they're both Harley Davidson fat boys. I could, I could ride a motorcycle before I could drive a car, so that's what I did. I think it's actually a really exciting option we have before we get to advanced surgical options for heart failure, which are namely LVAD and transplant. So I uh, went ahead and had the surgery, had the implant. It's just worked really well for me, just, just great. My shortness of breath just helped that a lot. And uh, energy just, just as much more than it was. Don't nap, don't really fall asleep in the middle of the day. Yeah, in about a month, I got back on the Harley after the, uh, I was sure I wouldn't break any stitches loose or anything like that. And I just started riding pretty immediately. Um, so certainly one of our patients, Mr. Timmons, it's had a huge uh, effect on his quality of life, has been out in his deer stand again and is out riding his Harley uh, before he was short of breath crossing the room to go to the bathroom. So I think certainly from a quality of life standpoint, it's, that's the proof that, it, that it's benefited him. Nine grandkids and I think 12 great grandkids, something like that. And we're gonna take a trip this year so we can, some of them we haven't seen, so we're gonna take a trip this year to visit all of them, make sure they all know us. You know, the very STEM has really helped me with that, being able to be with my family more, go to parties, and birthday parties, and this implant is, a, is just really great.